Okay, can you tell us, um, what's your name? Eliana Agnello. And how far did you travel to come here today? I came from Southern Maryland. Wow, it's a long way. Yes, it is. And did you come with anyone? Yes, I did. I came with a girlfriend of mine from uh, the Crab Wizard Forum. Her name, we call her Otter Woman. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and she's from Ohio. Oh, great. So what has been, so you were at the captain's lunch today. Yes. So what was that like? Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, Captain Sig sat at our table. Really? As did the producer Jeff, and we had a wonderful discussion about the crab industry, about Sig and his family, uh -huh. about each other. We got to know each other better, and we just had a wonderful time of fellowship. That is so great. So, did you get any secrets from Sig? I did, so it's a secret. Okay. A secret. <laughs> okay, I he understand. Did, he did hire me, though. He hired me to be a chef on, on uh, the Northwestern. Really? Yeah, 100 bucks a day. Not bad. That's not mm -hmm. bad at all. Yeah. So, so I'm hired. Oh, wonderful. Did you get a lot of... Did you meet some any other fans who came as well? Yes, I've met some, yes. Uh, not at the luncheon, because that was more of a private uh, situation, but uh -huh. I just got a chance to talk to some of the girls from the crowd with it. Wonderful. So, okay, what? So, I'm gonna ask you a question about the show. What do you think was the best moment of season four? Oh, uh, well, I just adore Captain Phil, mm -hmm. and I'm emotional about that about that uh, series. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that all of them made it back. Uh, yeah. Without incident, but Phil's health was a scare for all of us. Yeah. And uh, it just uh, hurt me, hurt my heart to see him laying in that hospital bed like oh, that, not yeah. knowing it. he was going to live another two weeks. And mm -hmm. I know it had to be difficult on his son. So that was hard for me to watch. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to for season five? Oh, I'm looking forward to all the exciting things that go on, the antics. I'm looking forward to a few pranks, I hope, that uh -huh. I'll get to see. And uh, more of, I hope to see Captain Phil back at the helm and something tells me he's going to be back on that boat. That's year. great. So, okay, so when was this the first time to meet Captain Sig for you? Was the first time, yes. I had, The only captain I had met before was Captain Phil mm -hmm. uh, back in Oregon, back in uh, November. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, this is the first time I'd met Captain Sig. He's a, he's a hoot. I just really? love him. Oh, wonderful. Was, so was he the same as he is on the show? When you met him in person? I think he's even more down to earth in person. Really? Yeah. I felt like I could have talked to him all day long. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Especially since he's going to be my new boss. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right. So would you like to say anything to people who couldn't make it to CatchCon this year? Oh, everybody, listen. Pay attention next year. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. This has been a fantastic fantastic event that the Discovery Channel has put on for the fans of this show. And I'm very proud to have met these wonderful American men who have worked so hard. Uh, this is what American people do. We work hard. And they exemplify exactly what that means. Excellent. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.